Hi, uh, my name's Ian and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove um, staining from uh, this lovely white fries uh, tricorn vase and this Georgian decanter. I'm going to be using this, uh, this powder that I've developed myself. It's an extremely fine abrasive. Um, it's coarse enough to remove the deposits but it's actually fine enough to leave a polished surface on the glass. Completely chemical free, just add water, but we'll come to that in a minute. This tool uh, I've developed myself, it's, um, it can be used with a Dremel or with a, a power tool, um, a normal household drill. And to the end of this we will attach a piece of sponge. I just use um, decorating sponges I'll get from DIY shops or uh, pound shops or anywhere I can get them really. Tie it on with string through the hole in the end. Uh, always tie it on through using that hole. If you just tie it round when you take it out you can leave the sponge behind. And we tie it on with normal household string always buy the good stout string and oops, drop the scissors. always buy a good stout string uh, you buy the cheap stuff it just snaps in no time okay now obviously this is a very thin neck on this one um, so we don't want too much sponge The sponge is there, uh, same with this, just to get the powder onto the surface. It's the powder that does the work. The sponge is purely there to make sure you get it onto the surface of the glass. String through, bit of sponge, cut into a strip off of that. Throw it on. teeth come in handy, a few I've got left. <laughs> Tie on securely. Now, trim that string off. We want it in there fairly securely but we don't want it too tight that, that fits nicely and that will spin nicely there okay into there I'm going to stick some of this powder 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 whoops in she goes just I know what's in there two three grams of powder drop of water you don't want too much water but there again you want the powders to work so you don't want it too you, know, you don't want to paste a thick paste otherwise it's just going to strain the machine it's going to strain everything I'm going to use a Dremel for this one uh, this is a Dremel for 400 digital uh, I actually my favourite one I've got a Dremel 4000, I'm not over impressed with that one, I prefer the 400, okay, in she goes, oh,
I don't want the sponge to go on the surface of the table, there could be grit or nasty bits of stuff on the table which I don't want to get onto that sponge in case I have to do it again. Now, once you've done it, I'll go and wash this out in a second, it's difficult to tell how successful it's been until it actually dries out. Uh, for example, I bought this uh, decanter of car boot, it's still wet inside. Nice and wet inside, it looked crystal clear. I said to the guy, uh, is there any standing in there? He said, yeah, there was a bit, but I've got it all out. What did you get it out with? He got it out with bleach. Ooh, little porky pies, you can't get it out with bleach, as most of you will know. Um, but if you leave it wet, it will look clear. Same with this, wash it out, it looks wet, it will look clear. It's not until you've uh, actually cleaned it out, uh, let it dry, that you will uh, know. I'll, I'll give you a tip on how to dry it in just a second. Um, and how to dry that out as well. I'll go and wash this and be back in a second. Right, I'll clean that out now. When you clean it out, um, always save all the liquid from it, including the powder. Eventually the powder will set to settle to the bottom of that, pour off the excess water and you've got the powder to use again next time. Okay. I'll just dry this off on the outside. I think it might actually have uh, worked. We need to clean inside, dry inside first. Now, this tool is ideal. It's uh, got a little grabber on the end. You get a piece of uh, kitchen towel, fold it over, grab it on the grabber, Twist it up. Then untwist it. Keep it twisted. nice and dry and clear all the deposits are gone however it has revealed that's on the outside that's where the price sticker was look a scratch there we'll deal with the scratch later I'll do another video where I'm doing I'll take that scratch away well, I've already done if you check my other videos you'll see me review, removing <laughs> You will see me removing scratches, so I'm breaking these teeth in for someone else. Um, yeah, so there you go. Nice clean finish to the vase. Much more saleable or uh, displayable, whichever you want to do. Right, now we're going to move on to this other decanter. Put that away for a minute. Out of the way. Okay, now with this one, obviously, that's not going to reach the edges, so we need to do it differently. So, with this one, I want it, obviously, to get out wider, and we need to get down the bottom. So, with this one, I do it slightly different. I use two pieces of sponge, one slightly wider than the other. The wider one... I just nick in the middle make a hole and thread it through then string through this piece over the top 
and that one you bring down to the string almost and bend it over and tie it off. Okay. And there we have, now that should get down into there, there you go, and as it spins it will get to the edge and hopefully we'll get down to the bottoms and the corners and all the bits. use cordless drills but I kept running out of power just at the wrong moment so now I use this cordless drill I hate it's a cheap one from uh, just a local DIY store the cheapest one I could find unfortunately you can tell it's cheap because the truck doesn't really fit very well and to be quite honest it doesn't grip there very well it can come loose so as I said it well, I've said many times really you get what you pay for unfortunately that's exactly what's happening but it does the job it does do the job and once it burns out next time I'll treat myself to one a bit more expensive maybe right so now pop in the powders as before uh, the one thing we're going to have to watch for this decanter that we don't catch the metal on any of the top pieces. Put some oh, a bit more than I intended, but never mind. About 10 grams in there. Here we have the powders that we had before from the previous project. So let's uh, pop that in. There you go. That should be enough water really. And here we go. And just walk up and down. Can you see that? Just keep turning it around. And you see there that it is getting right into the corners. You see down there. Keep checking, making sure the glass is not getting hot. Uh, the deposit's in here was quite heavy. Oh, Keep checking, make sure it doesn't get hot. Um, the deposits on this were quite heavy, so it may take two or three applications. Okay, you don't want to sit and watch me doing this. It's going to take me about four or five minutes um, of doing. Then I'll wash it, dry it, um, and obviously if there's still deposits, repeat the process. Um, you don't want to sit and watch me just going. Bzzz. Uh, I can't talk while it's on, so I'm going to switch you off now and come back in a moment. Okay, I'll clean this out. I ended up doing it for about two and a half minutes. I got fed up, but we'll see. Okay, we're going to give this a dry out, same principle as we did for the little one. A sheet of kitchen towel. Uh, once again, this is a good quality kitchen towel. If you buy the, the cheap ones, little pieces will come off inside and you're back to square one. Feed that in. Oop. Oop, get down there. That's it. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. 
See the, the bloom starting to come back there. We haven't uh, succeeded in our first attempt, but it is improving. Yeah, that two and a half minutes is enough to improve it, but it's. Uh, It's not cleaned it up completely. We'll give it another two and a half minutes and see what happens then. Okay. Right, well I've been polished. I, I actually did this for about uh, two sessions. Um, I've been polishing it for a total of about five, six minutes. And we uh, Give it a dry. I have dried it. This is uh, I've dried it a couple of times. We'll just give it a final dry just to show you. But, uh, I think you'll agree that is pretty good. <laughs> 